You ask me what I'm sipping on And what am I dreaming yeah. Well I'm gonna tell you huh Bonjour. Welcome to Max's Cognac Review. Thanks for joining me. Today I have a treat. I have the Cavassier 21 Year Connoisseur Collection. It's a strictly Grand Champagne Cognac. It is uh, the older version of the two. They did a 12 year, which I reviewed as well. Very reasonably priced, about 50 US. And this bottle is typically uh, about 170 to 200 dollars us it's very unique for a cognac to have an age statement like this this is typically found on a scotch or a whiskey uh, most cognac as you probably know are uh, labeled vsop or xo and they're more of a generalized age statement that being said um, i'm going to give it a try it comes in a cool box there's a little uh, booklet here and as well as having a little introduction, it has a uh, calendar to mark the dates and occasions for when you drink um, from the bottle. I know this bottle is supposed to last quite a while and you're supposed to save it for special occasions, but unfortunately, um, these bottles don't last very long around me. So I wanted to go ahead and get this review done as soon as possible before I drank it all. Um, 21 years is quite a while. The uh, optimum age for cognac is considered to be one generation or 25 years. So this is pretty close to it. I'm expecting a lot more character from the strictly Grand Champagne cognac than I would a blended cognac with Fond Blanc, Petit Champagne, and various other regions. Um, Grand Champagne tends to be very pronounced and have a lot of flavor. I have my uh, neat glass here. First nose is very soft, very light. Flutter of black licorice. Um, no alcohol, but it is very strong scent. It's very, very pronounced. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Amazing experience. Um, definitely more intense than a typical XO, a blended XO. You know, most cognacs are made with um, you know dozens of barrels of different aged cognacs, and they're blended together to make a very smooth, well-rounded cognac. And this cognac, you can tell, is um, a little bit more. Uh, individualized and has a lot more character and that's not a bad thing but it's definitely not a really soft well-rounded um, XO like an XO Hennessy. That being said it's a beautiful cognac um, being, being that it spent so much time in the barrel you can definitely get some wood notes almost uh, sandalwood and you're definitely getting a lot of deep red dried fruits. Um, not a lot of light citrus notes, more of a, a real dark uh, red fruit, dried fig, dried plum. Definitely lingers on the palate. I feel like the flavor even kind of builds after you after you take a sip, maybe five, ten second, seconds later, the, the flavor is still building. And you're left with um, a little bit of spice, but a lot of black licorice and a lot of uh, almost oakiness and, uh, and wood from the barrel. Again, I will say that um, I think most people 
would think that given that it's so old uh, for a cognac, being that it's 21 years, it would be a little smoother. And I will say it does have quite a bit of kick and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely um, a little spicy and uh, not a, a soft cognac, if that's what you're looking for. That being said, it's important to keep in mind it's a strictly Grand Champagne cognac. So Grand Champagne is typically the most sought after region for a cognac. It typically ages the longest and it definitely has the most flavor. So although um, you're not getting uh, a lot of alcohol, you're getting a lot of intensity, robust, intense flavors, and it lingers on your palate. I mean, I'm still tasting it now almost stronger than it was when it first hit my lips. Um, needless to say, I can't recommend it enough. I think for the value, the 12 year is uh, an even greater buy. But if you have the money, I definitely recommend giving this a try. Until next time.